Hi Scorpio, Kim and Chantress here to do your new moon in Sagittarius reading for Monday the 14th of December 2020 and we have a total solar eclipse also associated with the new moon. So this is telling me this is the moon of rest and beginnings. It's the, the last one for um, 2020, so the last new moon for 2020. So if you've got anything that no longer serves you or you're interested in, it's time to say goodbye to the old and bring in the new, bring something new for 2021. Now, this is a time to be creative around the new moon. So be open to the creativity and your creative side. Whatever comes from within, just allow this inspiration um, come to the forefront and uh, it is a special time for you to uh, take new ideas on for growth reasons the new moon's all about planting the seeds and uh, manifesting what it is that you want to do for 2021 now with this total solar eclipse the effects of this eclipse can last up to six months so the energies you'll feel for the next six months, possibly. Um, and how do you take advantage of this new moon here, Scorpio? So we're going to have a look at the cards that I've got here. Significated card is the new moon. And the time is right for seeking new opportunities. It is in Sagittarius. So... It's telling you to be prepared to be adaptable as plans you have laid may take an unexpected course. And we've also got your moon totem, which is the cat. And it's telling you to make time to focus on your own spiritual well-being and connect to the metaphysical world around you. So this is a um, cat, which is part of human domestic life. But also leading an independent life of mystery as well. So this is you, Scorpio. The cat's affinity to the moon is very profound. And the cat is an animal that is difficult to get to know, maintaining a certain distance and mystery from us. So it's pretty much associated with the Greek goddess Artanas, known as the Roman mythology as Diana. Now, a cat-headed goddess was worshipped by the ancient Egyptians. To hurt or destroy a cat in Egypt was punishable by death, as they were held in such high esteem. Now, the cat has also been known as familiar to magical practitioners, especially those who work with lunar magic. So if you work with the full moon or any moon cycles, um, the cat is always sort of a associated with this you may find a lot of practitioners um, have cats especially black cats um, especially if they work with the moon cycles now we're going to have a look to see what you need to focus on the Lenormand cards so we have the mountain so the mountain is about obstacles and delays it's just um, a temporary setback that you you're having <clears throat> you're not sure which way to to go around or go over the the obstacle but you haven't got clear view of what's on the other side so it doesn't mean it's going to be not happening it's just um something that's going to be a little bit heavy a heavy burden for you to uh to get to what you want to do it can also represent mountainous area We'll take a look at the second card, which is the moon. So definitely um, you're going to feel the energy Scorpio here. This is a Cancerian card. It is about creativity and emotions. It's also the shadow card, which is something's hidden. Something needs to be revealed here. And it also can be a, a musician's card too or um, an artist card. We've got the dog here which is about loyalty and friendships. Let's see what we get out of these three cards. So 
I'm feeling because you've got the blockages here, Scorpio, you've got a lot of pent-up emotions. And maybe this is to do with um, you being abandoned by a friend. They're possibly blocking you in some way. Um, for some of you, this could be your partner's emotional feelings. And um, maybe they're blocking you in some way as well and you're feeling very emotional. You believe that this is your soulmate. Now, this could be <clears throat> excuse me, a person that is hiding something from you. You also have creative blockages around this full moon too. And this could be to do with an emotional and creative friend. Possibly a Cancerian. You have Capricorn here as well. So maybe Capricorn or Cancer in their chart. Now we have from the um, Universal Wisdom Oracle card, we have Past Life. So this is a person that you've known before, I believe. Now I'm just going to read a little bit from this, this book here. Now with the Past Life, it said we each hold within our memory cells all our past experiences and memories and we carry these experiences and memories from each life into the next. At any point you are the sum total of all your life experiences going back to the beginning of time. This influences the way you react and experience life in, the, in this lifetime. This card is alerting you to the fact that a current issue is affecting your life and your relationship stems from a fear you developed in a past life. You have carried this fear within you for eons. Having some understanding of past lives can sometimes help us to make more sense of our, pr our present life. The memory and feelings associated with our past lives can be assessed by sitting quietly in meditation and asking our soul and spirit to show us all that may be of help to us at the present time. You may be shown a glimpse of the past life or lives that have contributed to your current fears and attributes, and this may help you understand and heal from them. All that is required is that you keep an open heart during your meditation and you feel free yourself surrounded by the light and love at all times. Ask your spirit what guides and angels to show you only that which will help you dissolve and heal the issue. Before you finish your meditation, imagine all your past experiences, experiences transforming and filling with light and love. Bless both past and present and ask that this healing and transformation continue for the days and weeks to come and to continue also while you sleep. You can access past life experiences in meditation by yourself, provided that you trust in the process. However, however, if you prefer, you can seek the assistance of someone who is experienced in this type of work. In choosing someone to help you, simply ask your spirit guides and angels to attract the appropriate person for you. So maybe this is someone's coming back in your life to do with the metaphysical world that you knew in the past life. Now... This is also a psychic card. Um, Cancerians have strong intuition, so do Capricorn. So this could be um, a person definitely from a past life. Somewhere where there was a volcano is what I'm getting. So I hope this helped for the new moon in Sagittarius, the total solar eclipse on Monday the 14th of December 2020. That's all I have for you guys. Love and blessings, Scorpio. Bye for now.